Okay, so I just wanted to take a minute here to give some feedback on the halo wide angle viewing attachment for microscopes. And basically what the halo is, is it's a biome equivalent uh, or an alternative to the biome. And Rob asked me to try this out. I'm not paid for this or anything. He just reached out and said, hey, I know you love wide angle viewing. I know you use Ingenuity a lot and I want to get some feedback on uh, your thoughts about this new product. And so I'm always open to things like that. So he sent it to me and we used it on a handful of cases. And honestly, I'll have to say that the two things that I think about when I think about the utility of this and my first impressions of this device is number one, versatility, and number two, value, okay? So versatility, the thing that makes the Halo so versatile is the fact that you can use uh, the reusable lenses. Um, I'm personally not a fan of any reusable lenses. I don't use reusable lenses. In my mind, to get the most out of the beautiful view we get from Ingenuity, you really need disposable lenses because over time those lenses can deteriorate, the reusable ones can deteriorate. But when I look at um, the disposable lenses, specifically the HD lenses uh, from Oculus, they fit on perfectly, they work flawlessly with this uh, setup and this device. And so the ability to utilize existing lenses on the Halo makes it incredibly valuable. You're not locked in to, to using just the platform that works with Halo, you can use the HD lenses if you want to. You can use your own dis reusable lenses if you like those from a previous system. That adds versatility to this and makes it every bit the equivalent of what we're currently using with the biome. The second thing that makes it very versatile is the fact that actually the focus throw has a uh, much longer throw on it. So adjusting focus, uh, you can adjust focus and you can get focus when you have a condensing lens on your microscope that's either 175 millimeters or 200 millimeters. So you don't need a different unit uh, to be able to match it up to your microscope. And I'll give you an example. A few years back, uh, our scopes in our operating room, our surgery center got kind of mixed around and we have a 200 millimeter and a 175 millimeter condensing lens. Uh, one, the cataract surgeons like one we like, and so we got the wrong one. And I tell you, it threw everything off because suddenly we couldn't focus it the same way that we used to. And there were a couple of cases where we were at this extreme end with that microscope of focusing our biome and could not achieve a really great crisp focus. So the fact that you can put this unit on either a 175 millimeter condensing lens microscope or a 200 millimeter condensing lens microscope makes it so much more versatile. You're not ordering a different unit uh, to pair it up with your individual microscope. You can use that single unit on a wide variety of microscopes, not depending upon their condensing lens and whatnot. The second thing is value. You know, setting up a surgery center, and we've set up several surgery centers here in Kentucky, cost is a big issue. When a surgery center is looking to get into the retina side of things, they're going to look and they're going to go down through the list of equipment and they can very quickly be overwhelmed. And so every bit that you can save uh, with a, a lower priced option is of tremendous value uh, for that surgery center. And it may be the difference between them saying yes or no. And when we first set up and moved from the hospital to the surgery center, we were able to set up our surgery center for right around $100,000. And that was really important because they had questions about cost. We had questions about whether retina was really viable in a surgery center. In the first year, we did 30 to 40 cases in their surgery center just because we didn't have it as part of our routine. 
and now we're doing over a thousand cases in that surgery center so the volume can easily justify an upgrade to equipment but i'll tell you what that first year even spending only a hundred thousand dollars to outfit them start to finish with retina equipment um, we got pushback from our cataract surgeons saying hey look we bought you this equipment where are these retina cases you know coming from and i'll tell you anything that you can do to lower that entry point will help you get into a surgery center so this is a great unit if you're looking to start up in an area of new of, of a new surgery center and finally i'll tell you just having good competition in this marketplace is essential you know when you have an android to compete with an apple iphone it's going to make apple do better things and Android's going to do better things. And so that's going to help ratchet up what we, the consumers, the retina surgeons are able to, to get the cost that we're going to have to have for, for what we get and things like that. So certainly I think the halo fills a lot of needs. Uh, I think that if you're looking to get in to doing retina in your surgery center, or if you need a replacement unit or a backup unit, or you're looking to use a second room, Consider the halo because it's going to drastically reduce your cost. It's going to add to your flexibility and it's a it's a great product Caveats here. I've used it for a couple of weeks. So long term. I want to see how this holds up That's always a really important thing to think about an important thing to look at uh, But for the most part, I'll have to say that performs every bit as well as what we see uh, in higher priced units and adds to the versatility Thanks for watching